I'll get there. I mean, what you guys really don't know what it's like until you just can't play with golden cards. It's rough. <laughs> Once you go gold, you don't go back, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, okay. So there you go. Once again, on the magic screen, at least we have something to talk about. Both picking druid, both picking mage. Mage could be a variety of number of things. Hunter and rogue for hosty. And uh, oh, the game is actually started. Left coach, of course, using the uh, warlock and the one that actually missed. Can you guys see it? Yeah, I mean, this looks to me like it's gonna it's gonna be a hand lock okay. straight away too. I mean, this is just you know again he's not really much for uh, a pure aggro player. It's just not his style. He wants to have a lot of decisions to make. He w he wants his turns to be tough because he feels confident navigating through them. So like right now, what is Hosi thinking? Is he thinking, do I want to uh, coup this because it's a zoo possibility? But I mean, it's a life coach. Well, honestly, um, this is this is something that's really unique to Ku as well. Is that you get to see your first cycle of the Mulligan cards. That's true. You don't get to see the second ones though. So when he sees Keeper of the Grove in his opening hand, I think he feels really comfortable, even if his opponent is playing Zoo ah. in a position like this. Keeper of the Grove is like one of those.